Question four, a simple algorithm for maximum matching. Uh, so you can go ahead and take a second to read the intro, uh, but it's basically saying that we often find it useful to be able to find a maximum matching, uh, but that can be pretty computationally heavy, so maybe we can settle for an approximation algorithm that finds something that's close enough to a maximum matching. So the algorithm presented to us is this one. So stepping through it, it starts off with an empty matching, and then in some fixed order, it traverses through all the edges. And if it can add an edge to the matching, it goes ahead and adds it. And if it can't, it just moves on to the next edge. So this is like a greedy algorithm, just locally taking in as many edges as it can. So given this algorithm, we want to show two things. We want to show that it's a one-half approximation algorithm. And we want to show that it's not better than a one-half approximation algorithm. It's not a one-half plus epsilon approximation algorithm. So let's tackle the first part. To show that it's a one-half approximation algorithm, we want to show that the output of A, which is this matching M, is at least half as big as the actual maximum matching. Um, by analyzing the algorithm and noticing how it keeps adding edges until it can no longer add edges, hopefully you notice that the output M that A actually outputs is a maximal matching. As a quick reminder, a maximal matching is a matching in which you can't add any other edges to the matching without uh, making it not be a matching anymore, while the maximum matching has the overall largest amount of edges possible. Uh, but keep in mind that doesn't mean there's only one maximum matching, there could be multiple, but they all have the same number of edges, the largest amount of edges possible. So given this, we can actually generalize and say, if we can show that a maximal matching, which is the output of A, is always going to be at least half as big as the maximum matching, then that proves that A is a one-half approximation algorithm. So if we can prove this general claim, we want to show that the maximal matchings are at least half as big as the maximum matchings. So if M is a maximal matching, let's go ahead and compare it to um, a maximum matching. Let's call that M crown. It's uh, like the ultimate matching. And we want to show that the size of this one is at least half of the size of this one. And remember, the size of a matching is how many edges are in it. So we want to show that this inequality holds true. And if we can show this, then that proves our overall claim that A is a one-half approximation algorithm. So let's focus on this inequality. So assume for the sake of contradiction that this inequality didn't hold, that the size of the maximal matching was actually less than half the size of a maximum matching. Uh, to make this more concrete, let's assign numbers for the number of edges in each of these matchings. If the matching M has A edges, that must mean that it has two A vertices. And this is because um, the edges don't share any vertices. That's what makes it a matching. So M can have A edges and two A vertices. And similarly for M crown, we can have it have B edges and two B vertices. And since the size of a matching is just the number of edges in the matching, we can just use the A and the B in the inequality and get that A is less than one half B, which is the same as saying two A is less than B. And what does this really mean? This means that the number of vertices in M is less than the number of edges in M crown. So take a second and pause and think about what this really means. If the number of vertices in the matching M is less than the number of edges in a different matching M crown, that must mean that there's some edge in M crown where both of its vertices are not in M because there's a strictly greater number of edges in M crown. So if both of the endpoints of an edge in M crown are uncovered in M, that means that there's some edge that isn't an M that could have been in M, which contradicts the fact that M was a maximal matching. And because of that contradiction, that means we have shown this part. Uh, we've shown this inequality, which shows that we have a one half approximation. So the first part is done. Now for the second part, we wanna show that it's not a one half plus epsilon approximation algorithm. If it were a one half plus epsilon approximation algorithm, that means for all inputs, no matter what the input is, no matter what order of edges A runs, it always gives a matching that is 
uh, one half plus epsilon fraction of the actual maximum or greater. So in order to show that it's not a one half plus epsilon approximation, we actually just have to show one instance in which A gives an exactly one half approximation algorithm, which means it couldn't have been one half plus epsilon. Um, so we just need to come up with one little counterexample. So this would be a good time to pause and try and see what you can come up with where A outputs um, a matching, which is exactly half the size of the optimal maximum matching. So a good counterexample is this simple path of length three. The optimal maximum matching would be two of the edges, but our greedy algorithm A could make um, non-optimal choices that locally seem okay, but overall lead to um, a not optimal solution. Um, if our algorithm A happened to pick this middle edge first, then it would kind of get stuck and not be able to choose anything else in which case our algorithm's output is exactly half the size of the optimal, which proves that it is not a one-half plus epsilon approximation.